Let's talk about this new remix that you announced with Demi Lovato. I'm so excited because both of you guys have these amazing powerhouse voices. How did the, the collaboration come about even? She is so supportive and so, so sweet. And actually her and Sam Smith um, were talking about how much they love my new album because they put out a song together and they did like this joint yeah. interview. And I, I texted her and I'm like, girl, thank you so much for, you know, for listening and showing love. And when we started going back and forth, I think she told me that Lonely Hearts was one of her favorites. And I was like, why don't you get on it? And she was like, okay. <laughs> so really it, it was like that. And we were able to make it happen. Um, even though we recorded it in separate places. And she absolutely destroyed it. She killed it. I, I, I texted her after, I'm like, what is your range? Where are you singing from? <laughs> like, you're, where is this coming from? It's just amazing. I, I'm so excited that she took the song and elevated it. And uh, I, I can tell that we can both relate to the lyrics and we've both been there before. So, and, and for me, it's very applicable right now. Just feeling like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm good at being alone and I, I don't want to be heartbroken. And if I'm alone, I know I can't get heartbroken. How long have you and Demi known each other for? I mean, you said that you texted her, so I assume this friendship goes way back a bit. We've known each other for such, such a long time. It's, it's funny because I came out I put out my first album when I was 13, so a lot of people think I'm much older than I am, but I think I'm just a year older than her. So it's yeah. funny that she she grew up listening to me and, and has always been so sweet and always told me that. We have known each other for a long time and I have a lot of respect for her, yeah. I love hearing stories just about like women, supporting women. Yeah, I think, I think we both feel a, a connection with each other. Yeah. What do you think she adds to the track that does really elevate it? Like, is there something special that you can kind of hint at or tease? Yeah, I, I went back in and, and did new ad-libs actually because I wanted this to be special and, and not just like we flew in her verse. Like, we're really going back and forth. This is a true duet. So yes. th that's, that's really exciting because it feels much more like a duet than a feature, whereas you just kind of copy and paste something in. Like, we're really um, complimenting each other and, and I think that's really, nice to hear, especially from two women voices and, and two people who are spoken about for their voices. There's no competition on this record. She is completely in her own lane. I'm completely in my own lane. And it's just, it's, um, it's fire, yo. You just gotta hear it. You're using your platform for good, which I love that you're doing. You're performing as part of um, a virtual festival benefiting my friend's place. So kind of talk to me about what that is and why that was important for you to, to be part of. We both live in Los Angeles, right? You're here? Yeah. So as you know, the issue of homelessness is one of the, the biggest that our city faces. Yeah. And it, it's particularly heartbreaking to see young people experiencing it. And I, I, I just know that any one of us is just one circumstance, one degree away from that being us. No one is is exempt from or better than or smarter than, like it, that's not what it is. And the issue of homelessness is, is truly life or death. So my friend's place is making a serious difference here in Los Angeles with not only providing hope and creative outlets for these young people from ages of 12 to 25, and um, but also actual, you know, substantial help with with housing and food and education and childcare and job opportunities and, and giving them giving them the tools to create their own path forward, which is just really I just want to be a part of it. Can you tease a little bit what you're going to be performing? Yeah, um, a couple of my favorite songs from my new album and yeah, just bearing my soul like I always try to do. The lineup is incredible though. I mean, we have Kenzie Ziegler, Chris Paul's a part of this. Um, anyone that you're excited to virtually check out? I love Chris Paul. Actually, you, you know who, I, who I'm excited about? I think Mario is performing. It's just funny because, I mean, we kind of came up uh, in the same time, like starting in the early 2000s. And he seems to be on like a path of 
spirituality and, and transcendence. So I'm really excited to see what his performance is about. You have a lot of exciting things coming up. So I want to get into you and your music. What You Need comes out Friday. Yeah! What, yeah! What should we know about this song? It's the next level of confidence. It's basically like, I bring everything to the table. I, I am 100, I am complete. And if you don't see that, then I can't sit around and wait for you to see that. So you need to articulate what you need from me if I'm not, if, if it ain't it, then I got to go. Cause I can't stay in this no man's land forever. Like I'm just too fly. Yeah. So that's, that's what it is. <laughs> when you are in a relationship, what do you feel like you bring to the table? Like what are some of your good qualities? I feel like we always ask people like, what are you looking for in a person? But I want to know. That's a great way to put it because we are much more in control of our 50% that we bring to a relationship. You know what I mean? And um, what I can bring is a lot of passion and presence. And patience is something I've developed over the past few years. I, I'm not a naturally patient person, but I've learned to be. And I'm actually, I can be nurturing and I can cook my ass off. You do bring so much to the table. Are you dating at all in quarantine? Like how is that situation? Yeah, I was in a bit of a situationship, but it's, I'm single, I'm single. Are you bummed that it's over? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it, it's acceptance is really hard. Acceptance is hard when you think something is going to be one way, but it's something I'm working on. Well, I also want to talk about you have been posting these pictures and a lot of them are because you're an ambassador for Rihanna's Savage line. How did that come about? Did she reach out to you? Her people reached out to me. Her so Sa Savage re reached out and I guess I have a good rack, and I guess they wanted to see it in, in their stuff. <laughs> so uh, I was like, hey, this sounds great. I'm, I'm just at a place where I'm much more comfortable with, with, with my body and um, feel no shame in, in wearing whatever it is that I feel like wearing. So lingerie has been something that I've really enjoyed for a long time. Like, I, I yes, I like to dress up for if I'm in a relationship, but even more so, I really like to do it for myself. I just feel put together. I feel like if I'm out in the world, uh -huh, I have a little secret that you don't know. My last question is, Dancing on the Stars is coming back, and I feel like you would be epic on that show. Have you ever thought about or been approached to do Dancing on the Stars? I have been approached, yeah. It's just not something I, I'm interested in doing right now. You're not, no, you're focused on the music 100%. Yeah. yeah.